Hey folks, hope you're having a good day today. Now I'm really excited to check out this new band to the channel today. It says here they're a post-rock, post-metal solo project with a collaboration from a variety of artists. Very, very cool. It's been a while since we had some post-rock on the channel and it's one of my favourite styles of music to listen to. Now I'm not quite sure who exactly does is the solo project in this solo project. If we have a look here uh, on the video that we're going to check out today, there's a bunch of them in this band uh, to get the collaboration done, doing all sorts of stuff, orchestration and stuff as well but I'm pretty sure it's Nicholas Bonello who is the solo project because we're going to watch another video and it's just him playing guitar in that video so I'm going to guess it's him that's the kind of the solo part of it uh, but he's working with a bunch of cool people to make a bunch of cool music these guys are out of Malta I don't think we get too many bands out of Malta on the channel so far so very pleased with that as well this is a band called Nicket the track that we're going to check out today is a nice long one six minutes long the sights I see it's got a very high quality video to go with it as well super nice so let's get into these guys It's full again, and to constant. 
Amazing. Absolutely loved it. And we haven't quite had a band with this makeup, with that kind of vocal and doing it over post metal stuff. So it's a first for the show as well. Very, very nice. Man, I enjoyed that loads. What a high quality band. I'm just, I was just thinking, man, I believe how the, the great bands that I'm attracting to this channel. You know, I just started this channel with something to do in lockdown. I wanted to talk about bands that don't get talked about uh, and, you know, kind of do one of those reaction channels for them and all of the rest of it. Now, a couple of years down the line, we're checking out amazing quality bands that are going under the radar. Um, not just kind of bedroom bands and, you know, guys having a go and this and that. These are super high quality bands with a great video, amazing mix as well, ticking all the boxes. Uh, and, you know, and we're trying to now use this channel to really propel these amazing bands uh, and, you know, give them a G up and get talk about their music. I wasn't expecting to, to really attract this quality of band to the channel when I first started out. Uh, I thought it was just going to be bedroom guys and I was going to be saying, yeah, you know, you want to be using some compression on those guitars and things like that. And real basic mixing tips uh, was really the intention when I started out this channel. Now look at us. 10 out of 10 bands coming through on the channel, as high quality as you can get, as good as any other band out there. Uh, and we just need to try and get them some more listeners now. That's all there is. I'm not going to give these guys any tips because they don't need any whatsoever. Because uh, that was very, very high quality music. Sounded absolutely great. Atmospheric, heavy, post metally. The, the double vocal was really great. None of the vocal clashed with each other. You had the heaviness and a warm, reverby female vocal as well. She had a nice depth to her voice as well. Uh, and it never clashed with the, with the screaming vocal. It was two separate layers. It weaved in and out of each other very nicely. Great drumming as well, tinging away on the ride. Very percussive, which obviously drummers are, but you know it wasn't just kind of keeping the beat. It was using the drum kit to create sounds and vibes and moods uh, and things like that. Crescendos did a great job on the drums as well. Had a super bass section in there as well. With a great bass tone. Uh, so every member of the band shone through at different sections of the track. Uh, it was ups and downs, build ups and crescendos, like you expect in this kind of music. But it moved in the right way. It built when it was supposed to build. Then it pulled right back when it was meant to as well. To just feel right and just flow through the track. Fill six minutes of time with the right, you know, movement <clears throat> through the sections. Absolutely loved it. 10 out of 10 music, super high quality video to go with it. Love seeing them all in the band. Very nice um, uh, instruments that they've all got as well. Sick. Now these guys have got another video on their channel and I want to definitely want to get to know these guys even more. So we've got another track. This one does seem to be kind of like a guitar playthrough. Uh, and that's what makes me think the, the guitarist is the kind of solo aspect of this band. This one is called Circadian Thoughts of You. Let's give this one a spin. It's a bit shorter, three minutes 40. Great guitar tones, super nice guitar, I've always wanted to play a strumbin.
Plus the lasers sound very nice. Well, there you go, that's the end of that one. Jeez, that was a quick three minutes. Man, that was a quick one for me. Just kind of getting into it. I thought we were only about halfway through. The longer tracks suit this kind of music because the movement of it is quite slow and building and crescendo. And by the time you get to the crescendo, which is apparently about three minutes, you want to just pull it back and start building it back up again. So yeah, you do need about a six minute track for this kind of music. Uh, it, do, it leaves you wanting more any shorter than that, I feel. Yeah. Well, there you go. That just confirms to us these guys have got a really great, dense, atmospheric, wide, building, crescendo-y sound. Just perfect for, for post metal post-rocky kind of music. That's what it's all about, creating that movement, that build, that swell, and then crescendo, and then pull it back. And the dynamics of that just feels great uh, to listen to. It's, it's a, it's a, in my opinion, it's a better way to write music than just verses and chorus, verses and chorus. I much prefer a, a, a build and a swell and a crescendo and then pulling it back. It's, that's that's my preferred way of listening to music, uh, and it just suits this music so well. Very very nice. So yeah, I think it must be the guitarist that's the kind of the solo project in this. Done a great job on the guitar, but really the guitar is only one part of this music. The drums are a big part of it, really kind of adds a lot to the music, creates the bounce, creates the swells and the fills move you from one section to the next really nicely. But also a lot of synthy work and kind of orchestral work in this as well to create the depth. Uh, there was loads of layers of sound in that last one there, pulsing in and out of the mix, not just always there, just some bits were coming in and out, in and out. Uh, so it really created a lot of depth and layering and width and just kind of, you know, soundscape to this kind of music. Love it. Everything sounded right. The mixes were great. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you do use a certain guy in a Malta to do the mixing, if I remember right. Uh, mixing and mastering by David Despaquali of Spine Splitter Studio. So he knows exactly what he's doing for this kind of music. Uh, it was nice and wide and loud, and you know had the you could hear all the elements of the music, which gave it the depth. The, in the first track, the vocals were very nice, uh, blended together, but still had their own separate space uh, and didn't clash with each other. So he knows what he's doing with the mix to get these guys the sound that they need and the sound that they want. Great. Love it. And I say, I'm just so happy to be attracting this kind of band to my, to my channel. Uh, and they think, yeah, this dude's cool. We want to get more on him to talk about our music. And I love to talk about these kind of bands. I could just talk about these kind of bands all freaking day long. Um, so there's no problem for me there. Uh, but I was thinking initially, as I say, that I was going to be telling kids to go, you know, you want to put some compression on those drums or EQ this and that. And how do you do basic mixing stuff? We're not really doing any of that anymore. It's just kind of saying, yeah, these guys are absolutely sick. What an amazing band. Uh, and just me telling you guys out there to get on board and, you know, go and check them out further. There you go. That's what it's all about. Absolutely love it. Uh, just cannot believe I'm attracting the, the kind of bands that I want to listen to as well to the show. Must be doing it right. Very, very nice. Hope you're having a great day today, guys. That's made the day very much better for me. Another high quality band to get on board with, making the kind of music that I want to listen to. Super nice. Hope you're having a good day. We'll see you around. Bye.